Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a journaling session for you. This one is going to be a journal hop video. I did one of these a few weeks ago, but this one is in collaboration with Lisa at the Lollipop Box and a group of other creatives and journalers in the community. She asked me if I wanted to be included in this hop to help celebrate the sixth birthday of the Lollipop Box Club. So her little subscription box that she does has been running for six years now, which is amazing. The general theme of the journaling hop is our like top tips for journaling. So everyone will be doing some sort of journaling type of video, but sharing a tip. I've decided to share how I use washi tape because <laughs> as I'm sure many of you know, I have quite the hoard of washi tape. Um, and so many people are like, how do you use all of that washi tape? And obviously the truth is I don't use it all, but I do use it a lot and I use it in pretty much every single journaling session that I do. So I thought I'd show you in this video why and how I use it. So I've kind of prepped this page a little bit beforehand. Usually I will do it blind, so I just set up the video and I have my box of ephemera, my box of scrap paper and other little embellishments and stuff. Um, and I figure out what I'm going to do during the video. But I thought because I'm obviously going to show you how I use washi tape it probably make more sense to prep a little bit beforehand. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how and why I use washi and then I'll finish the page as I usually do in a little sped up montagey thing. The photos I've got to document are from 2019. I'm still getting through my 2019 photos that I've printed off and these are from two different days. I do quite a lot of pages where I document something that doesn't have like a long meaningful thing to journal about, they're just little happy moments that I enjoyed um, and want to remember and a lot of the time it's the photos that trigger those memories. So I do tend to combine two days on one page a lot. I have pulled out two bits of scrap paper and a doily and kind of roughly laid out how I'm going to have them on the page and I've also backed the photos onto little white bits of paper so they have a bit of a border and I will probably back those onto something else. I think I'm actually going to back them onto some craft card because it will balance the page a little bit. Obviously I've got like this brown piece of paper down here so if I back these ones at the top onto some craft card it will kind of balance the page a little bit and these ones I'm tempted to back them onto some black card um, just because I've obviously got the yellow doily here so putting them onto a yellow background won't help them stand out from that but the black one I think will. I might do that quickly now actually so I've got all the photos ready to stick down. When I'm backing photos I tend to use double-sided tape to put the photo onto the first bit of paper and then usually because they are like paper on the back and then I'm sticking it onto card I will use a glue stick. I just use double-sided tape on the photo to the first piece of paper because obviously the back of the photo is kind of shiny so I don't want it falling off. Glue doesn't tend to work too well on the shiny side of the photo paper but yeah anytime that I'm sticking paper to card or card to card I do tend to go for the glue stick um, just to save a bit of double-sided tape. I won't show you the whole process of this because <laughs> it's just going to be me gluing uh, little squares onto card and then cutting them out. I use my little mini guillotine to cut them as well. So I have all my photos backed on the card colours that I wanted. I think the thing that I love about using washi tape is the fact that it adds so much to a page without actually being that much. When I use my washi, I tend to use it as a layering tool. You could use paper for this, you could rip up strips of paper, but washi tape's just a lot easier because it's already sticky, it's less of a faff, and if you stick it down and don't like it, 90% of the time you can pull it back up again. If I was to lay out this page without any washi tape, I would probably stick to the sort of layout that I've got. I think I'm actually going to rip these bits of paper as well. So they don't have straight edges because I prefer them not having straight edges when I use papers. Yeah, I definitely prefer that and I'm going to do the same with this one up here as well. I feel like if I leave these straight then once I add the washi tape as well there's just too many straight lines because obviously I've got the straight lines of the photos, the straight lines of the card and the straight lines of the washi. I'm going to stick this down without the washi tape and then I'm going to add the washi tape and show you the difference. I am someone who cuts off the excess after I stuck it down rather than cutting it to the exact size that I need. Um, it would help if I knew where my scissors went though. That's... they're over there. <laughs> the glue does come through the doily a bit but obviously it will dry and not be sticky. I just need to remember not to close my journal when I'm done with this page and let it dry properly. And then this bit can go back in my stash because I don't have as many doilies as I do scrap pieces of paper. This is what the page would look like without any washi tape, which is great, it's fine, the colours all go. It's looking like a journaling page, it's fine. But I just feel like it's a whole different ballgame when you start adding washi tape 
and the way that I add washi tape is I kind of think of them as little shelves for my photos. <laughs> that is the best way I can describe it. At the top of here I'm going to have a lot of the black washi tapes. So that way I can put the bit of black that I've got down here up here and it kind of blends things in. So this top photo I'm going to put a piece of washi tape underneath it and create a little shelf for it to sit on. I'm going to put another one here as well, kind of going off the page. Because it's going right up to the page I'm going to cut this, that way it will kind of sit flush with the rest of the page. So I've got a little shelf for that one, a little shelf for that one, and this one I'm not going to do the same colour. I'm going to add, we're going to add a bit of yellow I think, but I'm going to add some of the black coming out from the side of it. I'm going to do the same with this and then I'll go back in usually with my thinner washi tapes and add a bit more layering to the shelves. <laughs> it's kind of just about experimenting with the washi tapes that you have. This is why I have so many. I like having the variety because I always have a washi tape now for um, any of my pages. Like, there's always a washi tape that goes. The best advice, if you're someone who has a lot of washi tape or wants a lot of washi tape, um, having them on display really, really helps. Not having them... I had them in a drawer at one point and that was fine, but I just spent the whole time digging and then I'd just pull out my favourites and use those over and over and over and not use any of the other ones. Since I've had them up on my wall, on my shelf, which if you've not seen my shelf before, I'm sure most of you have, but I'll put a photo on the screen of how I have them displayed now. Since I've had them like this, I've used a lot more of them, a lot more that I've had sitting around because they're visible, like I can see all the colours I've got, I can see all the patterns. So I think that's all of the bigger washi tape I'm going to add. I have, this is one of my favourite washi tapes, it's from Little B and it is just a black and white striped super thin washi tape and I use this so much. I am running out of it so I need to find some more of it. But this one's great for borders and layering so I'm going to just add a few little bits on top of the washi tape that I've already laid down. It just gives you like a little extra pattern, a little extra layering um, without adding massive bulk to your page. This is where I then use double sided tape to stick the photos down because they're now much more bulky and they're also on top of non paper things so like glue won't stick to washi tape all that well so I'll just put a couple of strips of double sided tape on the photos and stick them down that way. So you can see the difference once you've added the washi tape, how much more layered the page looks. I'm someone who loves busy pages, all of my pages end up super busy. <laughs> There's always a lot going on in them um, and I layer things up like crazy. I've obviously still got to journal all these pages. They always look super, super busy and like there's so much going on, but really all I've done is layered things up. And a lot of the time, most of the layering is to do with washi tape. I choose my background card and I have the photos I'm putting on there. And then in between that, I just add a load of washi tape. And then the last thing I need to do with this, which I'll speed up in a minute, is add stickers and like bits and pieces around here and maybe a title if I want to. My pages consist of like four layers. I've got the background papers, I've got the washi tape, the photos and then stickers or decoration on top. I'm going to finish this page now and speed up that process. where I'm going to finish this page today. Again, like many of my pages, it's turned out very yellow. <laughs> but I do have a yellow JCB in these photos and my little yellow Pokemon Go character. So kind of, it kind of works. I added the dates on here and also found some stickers. So this one says love, this one says enjoy the everyday. Added some little heart stickers over the photo there. 
and then I added these little floral ones as well and that's it that is all I've added to the page I feel like once I've added stickers and little bits on top it just it just finishes it off it's like sprinkling sprinkles on a cake you know but yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together and hearing my little insight on washi tape and why I use it um, and how I use it. I want to say a big thank you to Lisa for letting me be a part of this video hop. There will be a link below to the next person in the hop so make sure you go and check out their videos and get some more tips on journaling. Lisa is also running lots of free little events over in her Facebook group to celebrate the birthday of the Lollipop Box Club so if you want to be a part of that I'll have a link to her Facebook group down below. Um, basically just check the description box for all the links for everything. Um, Lisa is wonderful, she does such a good job with her kits and she shares lots of really wonderful journaling inspiration and just general creativeness on her Instagram and stuff. So definitely go and check her out. As always, if you do have any questions then let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching and of course if you're a patron on any of the tiers then your name will be on the screen now. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.